Hi, everybody. Okay, and welcome to our presentation on discovering your career. Um, you're in for a very exciting presentation today. I'm joined by the SchoolFinder.com team, as well as our guest presenter, Roger Hart. My name is Karen, and I'm the Web Content and Social Media Specialist here at uh, SchoolFinder.com. We've been around helping students find schools, scholarships, and careers for more than 15 years, and these are some of the other websites that we um, run as well. So um, if you're familiar with SchoolFinder, you're probably familiar with ScholarshipsCanada.com. Um, if you're an international student, then StudyInCanada.com. And um, if you're looking at graduate studies, we have Grad School Finder as well. Okay, so again, my name is Karen, and basically I've taken two different um, degrees. I started off at York University um, taking a psychology degree, and then afterwards um, I decided to go back for another bachelor's radio and television program at Ryerson University. So um, I have a lot of uh, educational experience, and this particular webinar on uh, discovering your career path is going to be very interesting. So I'm going to hand it off to um, my colleague Ian. Thanks, Karen. So as Karen mentioned, my name is Ian. I am originally from the Philippines. I actually moved here to Canada when I was about six years old. Uh, grew up in Toronto as a big city guy, but uh, moved to Waterloo to finish up my undergrad in communications. Now I'm working for SchoolFinder.com, helping students in schools across the country about their schools, scholarships, and careers. Um, after many years of being here, I can tell you that the Canadian winters don't get any easier for me. Um, I guess I'm just born and raised a tropical sort of island guy. So. Perfect. Hi, everyone. My name is Faiza. I'm also part of the School Finder team. I actually spent the majority of my life across the pond. Um, I grew up in Saudi Arabia. I'm originally from Bangladesh and spent five years in the UK. Um, as such, I've had the opportunity to be educated and work in a variety of different countries um, across the world and, and been exposed to the different sort of working styles and cultures. Um, I've been in Canada for two years, but I still can't seem to kick my British slang, which uh, the office seems to find amusing. Mm -hmm. um, now I'm going to hand it over to our special guest presenter, Roger Harp, who is a seasoned career and school guidance counselor. Okay, welcome to the presentation. Uh, I started off in physical education and switched to uh, guidance and co-op teaching and I loved every minute of teaching and helping students plan their future. Uh, I'm probably on my fifth career and like you will be, you'll probably have four or five careers uh, which will lead us into the first topic on our agenda. This is an overview of our presentation that we have planned for you today. Basically we'll start off with career planning then afterwards, the three-step career quiz, um, choosing the right program at a school, choosing a lifestyle, developing your strengths, starting your financial planning, developing your support network um, and links, and then afterwards, social media events and feedback. Okay. I'm going to start off with uh, telling you what used to happen with your parents and grandparents and how they looked for a career. They used to uh, do an assessment of a person asking, um, finding out their abilities, which are their skills, their aptitudes, which is how well they do in school, and their interests. And then they would try to match them to a career. So they would look at a career, say, nursing, and they would say, okay, to be a nurse, these are the abilities, aptitudes, and interests that we think you should have. The problem with that today is that careers are constantly changing. And even the careers like nursing are continually evolving in, what, in their description. So you could have a, a nurse that works for the, in a doctor's office or does home care or works in a, um, an elderly home or does emergency nursing or like, on and on and on. So there is no one description or characteristic of nursing. And that's true of just about any job there is today. That's it's impossible to identify the characteristics that are required for a job and to match you with that. So what we're going to suggest with you today is the next slide is the new way of looking at it. And there are two themes to this. And the first one is looking at for an educational plan. So instead of looking for a career job or title, you're going to plan your, your education uh, 
if you're uh, in high school, then you look at post-secondary. And if you're in, already in college, university, you're looking at how you're going to finish it and if you're going to take any more uh, post-secondary or post, uh, post-graduate work. It's important that the main thing is you follow what you're good at and your success. So if you're good in uh, particular subjects, art, phys ed, then those are the ones that you should definitely continue with. Uh, if you're good in math, that's great. So, and you should work as hard as you can to get the best possible marks you can in those areas. And then you're going to look at an educational plan, a program at college, a university, or apprenticeship that has those subjects as the core. So in other words, you're going to look for a program that you can think you can be successful in at a post-secondary education. And then the jobs that will emulate out of that will be jobs that you are prepared for your, and you will have your best skills and aptitudes in. And you'll also love that job because that's where your strengths are. I knew a person who I played hockey with and he was uh, graduated from college in a business degree. And then he became a manager of a tire company. They made great big tires, like tractors, tires. And the company moved him to China. He had four children, and when he moved to China, he really did not like it, but his kids were even more adamant about not being there. So he came back to Canada, and with his business degree, he went and took a course in real estate, and he sells real estate part-time. And he's a consultant for trade, international trade to China. So my point is, if he was a student in high school and someone asked him what he wanted to be, it's unlikely he said, would say, oh, I want to be a part-time real estate agent and a consultant in trade to China. And that's exactly what you are faced with today. You cannot look at careers. You're looking at an educational plan, which leads us to what School Finder does. That's what we do at School Finder. And the three-step career quiz is one that will get you started. It's not a crystal ball that will tell you exactly what you're going to end up, what career you're going to end up in. It simply gets you started in a, an educational area or cluster. So business, physical education, engineering, health science, there are 17 different clusters. And that's what's going to start you on your research of the programs and the schools and the scholarships and everything you need to know about college, university, apprenticeships to get you started. Yeah, and um, what I'm going to do is just quickly show you what it, where it is and what it looks like on um, the School Finder website. So if you go to the School Finder um, homepage and you click on the Careers button or you go and click on the Careers tab, You'll see the careers page here. Well, we also have the top 10 careers for 2012, a list um, that's new on our, on our site. Um, once you click on the uh, three-step career quiz link, um, you'll be brought to this page, and you'll be asked to log into your account. So it's either start your quiz, or if you have done this quiz in the past, you can view your results. And once you click on that, you completed the quiz, or you're looking at your results, um, this is the list of all the different career categories that Roger was talking about and where you rank in those categories. Um, and it's really interesting because I actually did this quiz back when I was in high school and got very similar results to um, what I actually have now. It's interesting that sometimes some of the things don't change too much. Mm -hmm. And as Roger mentioned, the great part about this career quiz is not only do you get results in your field, you can actually then click into it and um, actually do research in terms of um, careers and um, courses and programs that are offered across Canada.